Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange, and today on Stranger Palooza, we have the five things that I hate about my 2018 Audi TT RS. Yes, this car you see behind you is mine. It's a 2018 in glacier white with the black optics package. It's a great car, but you know, the folks on YouTube demand these five things videos. Five things I love, five things I hate. So, you know, I figured I'd do the hard work and come up with five things that I don't really like or really hate about the Audi TT RS. I have to say that it was a difficult job. Um, there are a few things that were easy to pick out that I, that I uh, don't really like or I hate about it. But it, overall, it's a difficult job because it's a beautiful car, a great driver's car. But let's go into the list right now. Number one, where the auxiliary power is. The number one thing that I hate about this is where the auxiliary power is located on this car or what you would call the cigarette lighter. Um, a lot of us don't smoke nowadays. I definitely don't smoke. Don't use the cigarette lighter for that purpose, but I do use it to power things. Specifically, I use it to power my radar detector. And in this vehicle, it's really in a crazy position. And you know, in a lot of vehicles, it's easy. The, the cable that you get with your radar detector is pretty easy to just plug it in there. And you know, hey, it's a cable, it looks bad. But in this one, it's a real stretch to get that cable way back. You'll find that it's located in the armrest all the way back uh, um, in the vehicle, really, for me. Pro pretty much where your elbow would be. So just imagine a cable coming down and going back to your elbow. I'll try to roll in some stuff so you guys could see that. I did come up with a fix for it. I got an extension cable for that. And, you know, it looks bad. I'm sure there's folks out there that would say, hey, why don't you just hardwire this into the car? And that's not a bad idea if I thought I was going to keep this car for a really long time or forever. But, you know, I'm a car guy and I'm trying to go through as many nice cars as I can drive in my lifetime. So I'm pretty sure in a couple of years I'll be trading up into something else. And I don't really want to take the time to invest into that because I'm pretty sure I won't get it back. Number two, built-in internet. Who needs it? To me, I think it's a gimmick that car companies come up with nowadays. Not just, uh, not just Audi. I think there's several car companies out there that they think it's real cool to put internet in the car. The problem with that is most people, myself included, we've got internet on our phones. So what the hell do I need internet in the car for? Now, if they were just giving it to me for the entire time that I owned the car or I was paying for it or whatever that is, you know, if they gave it to me for three years or something like that, it would be awesome. I believe with this vehicle, you get it for six months. And I have it and it's turned on, but what am I really going to use it for? <laughs> especially if I already have a phone in my pocket. And then with this car, it has CarPlay, another thing that a lot of cars have. So if you have CarPlay and that's working through your phone, why do you need those things? I think putting internet in there is just a gimmick to come up with more money from, from us. And uh, maybe there's a few people out there that enjoy that. I highly doubt that I'm gonna enjoy that. And I wish they didn't waste the time even putting in the technology to give me that, unless they were gonna give it to me for free. Number three, CD player? Seriously? It's 2018. Why would you even take up the space of putting a CD player in there? Who, play, who plays CDs? You know, I'm an old dude. I grew up in the 80s, okay? I was one of the first people to buy CDs and DVDs and Blu-rays and all that kind of stuff. But who the hell does that anymore? I certainly don't. You know, I mentioned this in number two, I've got a phone. Well, guess what? On my phone, I have music. So I'm not really sure what I'm gonna do with the CDs in there. But for some reason, there's a CD player in this car. And that is something that I think was a complete waste of money and time to put in there. I think you guys could have come up with something else really cool to put in the Audi TT RS other than a CD player. But I've come to notice that lots of people are still putting CD players in there. I don't know why you're wasting the space. Number four, rims, the color, especially for the black optics package. Okay, I've got the black optics package on here and I think it makes a huge difference. Even in a car like this, that's white, this is the Glacier White, it's very attractive. Um, Audi has this package on several different cars. Um, I notice that it's, it looks especially stealthy on darker colored cars or a car that's black. On the white, it looks great as well. But what they did on the rims here is they two-toned it. So it's like black and silver. Honestly, I would have preferred if they would have just done black, 
or a nice satin black or something like that but they did two-tone and I to me personally I know it's like a little thing you know like I said before I'm nitpicking to find things that I don't really like that's something I don't like now if you want to know if I'm gonna change the rims and put rims on here or even paint them or something like that honestly I don't have that kind of time and as I said before I don't really waste my time investing in things like rims and all that because when I go to sell the car I'm probably not getting another Audi I'm not gonna be able to put those rims on the Audi that I'm getting or the rims will be out of style or whatever it is and so to me that's a waste of money getting rims and getting new tires and doing this thing and that thing so I like to get a car and keep it as it is and drive it and enjoy it and I and and therefore I like when companies do things like having something like a black optics package but how about really making it black or stealthy and putting you know like a one solid color on there black maybe a satin black or something that was like a gunmetal gray that would blend in with the whole look and be enjoyable. The two-tone thing is not really my cup of tea. I'm sure maybe that there's some people out there that like it, but I don't. Number five, I wish it was Nardo gray. I don't think the glacier white is a bad color at all. It looks good with this car. It looks good, especially with the black optics package, but it is something that I don't love about the car. So I'm gonna put it in the category of something I hate, but the truth is I don't really hate it. I would have preferred to have had the Nardo gray. And if you guys know what I'm talking about, it's a like uh, matte gray, stealthy. It's, it's gray and greenish and I really like that. It looks really interesting and really stealthy. That's my favorite color that you can get in the Audi TT RS. I think there's a few other Audis that you can get this Nardo gray in. And to me, that would have been my favorite color. Now, why didn't I stick around and wait out and try to get one of those? Because to be honest with you, they don't really make a lot of TT RSs. I think in the whole world they make about a thousand of these cars. That's like, you know, th there's no place to find like definitive answers on how many they manufacture. When I looked it up, I think in 2015 they made a thousand of them for the whole world. So we're in 2018, they're probably doing the same thing, maybe making a few more. So and then the, the number that comes to America is obviously even smaller than that. So pretty much if you're looking for a 2018 Audi TT RS to get it in Nardo gray you have to have ordered it in that color or really spent a lot of time looking around at dealerships all over the country I found this one in my local um, Gainesville actually Audi of Gainesville it was right there it was white and it's not my first choice but I think it's still attractive but it's not something that I could say to you oh man I really love that that would be awesome now you might ask yourself okay so then are you going to paint it or street wrap it you know what I might consider that, but like I've been saying a lot that I think that spending that kind of money and um, upgrading the car like that is really something that you're not gonna get back. So I'm not sure if I would do that. Now, if I had the opportunity maybe to street wrap this car and advertise it for some reason, I would still probably even go, if I'm gonna do that, with um, something that makes it look more like a rally car, you know, do some rally stripes and numbers and other things like that and maybe advertise some other things that I do or businesses that I work in if I go that route. But would I take the time and street wrap the whole thing Nardo Gray? It really wouldn't be real to me. So I would probably just leave it like this. Like I said, it's not bad, but if it was Nardo Gray, it would be perfect. There you go. That's five things I hate about my 2018 Audi TT RS. Um, it wasn't really easy to come up with that. This is really a beautiful car. I can never deny that. Um, but you know, you guys out there like watching these list things. And I figured if I'm really going to do um, multiple videos on this car and let folks out there know what I think about it, that I should take the time and find the five things that I, that I really don't like. I've had it now for several weeks and I've driven it. Probably as we go on in the future here, I might find things that I hate now that I love or things I love now that I'll hate. Definitely stay tuned to Stranger Palooza for more of that because, you know, these things grow on you, things change, your taste and all that change. So I invite you guys to like this video, share the video, and of course subscribe to Stranger Palooza. That's where we're putting all our auto car related stuff on. And um, if you're watching this on the regular Hank Strange channel, please do me a favor, go over to Stranger Palooza and subscribe. All right, um, you guys know how I end these videos.